Welcome to Meaningful Mornings. Our Running from the Mind community is now in its seventh year. In year one, we had 20 runner seekers. This year, we have 120 runner seekers. Inspiration, and we've been able to reach our aspiration. Sometimes what runners do is they put stickers on their car to communicate that they are runners. You thirteen point one. That's a half marathon. <laughs> I recently saw a sticker that said 0, 0.0. <laughs> and <laughs> please keep me posted of what's going on with the internet. I'm it's quite frustrating. Um, so 0, 0. And I laughed a lot at seeing this sticker. Our running from the mind communities focus is on we can be runners. Our meaningful mornings culture is we can be seekers. The changes that you want to make in your personality is possible. Chapter 14 is about gunas. Another word for guna is vasana. It is why you are who you are. Sri Krishna begins elaborating on these gunas, starting with sattva. Sattva in English means quietness. How does quietness start? It is by being an introvert, one who is inward looking, naturally then becomes independent. Sattva is the rope that ties us the least. I'm going to read to you an insight from Puja Swami Chinmayananda. He shares A true scientist working self dedicatedly in his laboratory, a painter working at his canvas in his shabby studio, pale with hunger and weak with disease, a poet hunted out from society, living in public parks, seeking his own joys and his own visions and words, martyrs facing cruel persecutions, politicians suffering long years of exile, mountaineers embracing death, all are examples of how having known the subtler thrills of a higher joy when the bosom is inspired with sattva. The next guna that Sri Krishna shares about is raja. Raja is aggressiveness. Aggressiveness starts with light. Likes are a form of extroversion. And what happens is these devolve into attachments. 
sattva is quietness. How? Introversion leads to independence. Raja is aggressiveness. How? Starts with likes and is led to being attachments. I'll share another insight about Raja so that we're very clear that most of us do have traces of Raja in us. When we are honest about our gunas, we can start to grow out of the lower ones and into the higher ones. At the end of the month, I will come back to the DMV and I'm facilitating a youth camp here. We probably have around 80 high school students already registered. And my interactions with our high school students is, I do not envy those who are in high school. I had a great experience in high school. It changed who I am. But the present day youth, I don't envy them. I don't want to go back to high school if I could. And the reason for that is youth today, and really all of us, have more choice than ever. What comes with more choice? More comparison. What comes with more comparison? More competition. What comes with more competition? More jealousy. And what comes with more jealousy? More insecurity. And it all started with more choice. Raja or aggressiveness starts with having likes. Likes is an expression of choice. I like this, I dislike this. Sattva, Raja, it's been a, a rough morning, so I've forgotten what is the last guna? Because none of you are that. So please <laughs> tell me in the chat to help. <laughs> help a person like me. <laughs> we continue to Tama, which is in verse 8. Tamas Vagnana Jam Vidhi Mohanam Sarva Dehinam Pramadalasya Nidrabihi Tannibhadnati Bharata Joy. Shri Krishna shares the third guna, the third quality, the third rope is tama. And to give you an insight about how detail oriented Sri Krishna is, he began this chapter sharing pravakshami. I will explain this to you. In verse five, he gave us all of the gunas. And now you see in verse 6, 7, 8, he's explaining this. Vidhi, you should know, the third guna is tama. And this guna comes from agnana. Agnana means to ignore. Agnana means to forget. When one ignores infinity, one forgets infinity, then naturally one identifies as an individuality. What are the characteristics of Tama? Moha. Moha often is described as confusion. How I would like for us to think about this is darkness. I'm going to give you a, a fuller framework tomorrow. Confusion increases when there's external darkness. Like driving. Driving at night is harder than driving during the day. Yes. Trying to find your way around a room is harder when there's darkness than when there's light. Sarva Dehina. Who does this apply to? The ego. Qualities can only be for that which is not infinite. 
qualities are what make up the individuality. And so an authentic and deep reflective point to this is, I believe it was yesterday where I shared, the creator has not created the ego, which means you don't have an ego. <laughs> which is awesome. Let's just end chapter 14 of Bhagavad Gita. Why continue knowing these qualities? They're for the ego, not you. But do you feel that? Here's what we generally fear, feel and fear. Sri Krishna is specific now about what tama, ignoring, forgetting, confusing, feels like. Pramada. This is an awful vice. One of my least favorite vices when I think of vices I have and perhaps others also. Pramada is carelessness. Why I feel this is awful, carelessness is where you care less. And this is so strong in our personalities, in our societies. We forget people's names. We waste food, water, and so on. Now, Sri Krishna shares there's worse expressions than pramada, lower than that, alasya. Those who are Hindi speakers, your parents have called you this many times, yes? Hey, Alsi. <laughs> Alasya means laziness. Why this is worse than carelessness? See, a careless person is still doing something, but is not good at it. A lazy person does less. <laughs> so not only do they are they careless, but they do less. And the fall isn't over. There's one even lower expression of tama, and that is nidra. Nidra is <laughs> seven fifty-five a.m. <laughs> if I chant Om, everyone's happy. I tell you a story, everyone's happy. I do a review, everyone's happy. I get into the verse, you say joy, but slowly <laughs> that brahmada. Alasya Nidra kicks in. Yesterday I was teaching Vyasa's class. This is a group of those going into grade one and grade two. And I was sharing with them that another name for Bhagavan Ganesha is Bhagavan Gunesha. So cool how this camp I'm teaching to the kids and this camp I'm teaching to the kids virtually <laughs> is the same subject matter. <laughs> so I had all of these kids show me. Show me what sattva, raja, and tama is. And they were so good at tama. Happily sleeping in fetal position. <laughs> See, at least they're honest about it. They show it. We just do it with our eyes open. <laughs> so a lazy person is careless but does less. A sleepiness does nothing. They're not only careless, but they do nothing also. Carelessness. Laziness, sleepiness. Tan, nibhadnati bharata. If you think carefully about the names that Sri Krishna is using for Prince Arjuna, it's different in each of these verses. From anagha, which relates to sattva. Kaunteya, which relates to raja. Here he calls him bharata. Bharata means the one filled with light. That you are not tamasic. Tama binds one. And I had shared what does binding feel like? When we are controlled, we are more vulnerable to being shaken. If I'm controlled by this very heavy backpack, imagine there's so much weight on it. Then if it becomes imbalanced, I become imbalanced. But if there's nothing in this backpack, even if it's flying all over the place, it doesn't affect me. So from sattva to raja to tama, there's more control, as in we are controlled more. And so the potential for us to shake is more too. I hope you're understanding and appreciating what's being shared. But if you're not, no worries. 
Sri Krishna just keeps zooming in again and again and again from the table of contents. Now he's given us one reference. Now he's going to give us many more references. From inspiration to application, your application yesterday was to identify what have you done in a steady way in reference to a thousand and eight. Have you ever been intentional with any verb for a thousand and eight mornings or days? My observation for myself is I thought about athletics. When I engage in playing soccer or jogging, I'm only there. There is no nidra alasya pramada. So it's possible. The meaningful mornings is an easy way to be intentional. Your application for this morning, we are five days from our Prithvi Utsava. We have around 500 registrations. And so I'm again asking you for your application to be, invite your family and friends to our Prithvi Utsava and to donate to our Rainforest Foundation on a birthday, you're supposed to treat others. Our Prithvi Utsava is like our Prithvi Seva Sangha's birthday. So let's treat our earth in a authentic and deep way. Shanti, 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 He be joined.